CBS 11 News Now. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight for our CBS 11 News Update. I'm Doug Dunbar. Let's get underway with a quick check of the forecast and the chief, Scott Padgett. Thanks so much, Doug. And we've seen a breezy to windy day today. Winds gusting up to near 40 miles per hour at times. And into the evening hours, we'll see mainly clear skies for us. And our temperatures will cool their way down into the upper 50s by 9. Tomorrow, a lot of sunshine back into the forecast. A cool start as temperatures are going to be in the upper 40s. Up to 69 degrees Friday afternoon, sunny skies. Saturday, 77 with mostly sunny skies. And on Sunday, 82 degrees for your Easter Sunday with south winds at 15 to 25. So not too bad as we go into the holiday weekend. And the next week, sorry to see Ray returning to the forecast on Tuesday and Wednesday. Scott, thank you. Nearly $1 billion have been pledged to help rebuild the Notre Dame Cathedral. The Goodwill is helping three historically black Louisiana churches, meanwhile, that were destroyed in an arson attack. A GoFundMe created last week soared to its goal of more than $1.8 million, and it happened overnight after the appeal was widely shared on social media. Omar Villafranca is at one of those churches in Louisiana. While all eyes were on the devastation in Paris and the world pledged to rebuild a fire-ravaged Notre Dame Cathedral, worshippers thousands of miles away in Louisiana continue to pray for the rebuilding of three historic churches destroyed in just 10 days by arson. There were pews there. Pastor Harry Richard's church was which, one of those burned to the ground. His grandfather helped start Greater Union Baptist more than 100 years ago. Are you going to rebuild this place bigger and better than before? Bigger and better. Uh, God is in control. We're going to build bigger and better. After more than a billion dollars in donations poured in for Notre Dame, some on social media pointed to three smaller houses of worship in need. A viral tweet by journalist Yashar Ali inspired celebrities, politicians, and thousands of others to give to the Louisiana churches. Donations skyrocketed from 159000 to more than $1.8 million in less than 36 hours. Did you know God was going to provide like this? No, but I just wait for him to show up, and he did. <laughs> Pastor Freddie Jack started the GoFundMe for the churches burned in his district. He says he never lost faith in humanity after so much pain. When you see a response like this from strangers, helping complete strangers, does it renew your faith anymore? We can't let circumstances or difficulties change us. We have to change them. But it did change. You had three churches burnt down. It changed our dwelling, but it didn't change our faith. All the money raised will be split between the three churches. And while they won't be able to have Easter services here on Sunday, one pastor told me all the money raised will help resurrect these churches. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Opelousas, Louisiana. A teenager swings his way into a new world record. Eight, two, one. That's Charlie O'Brien. He spent over 33 hours swinging back and forth at a local park. He's in New Zealand, and the teenager attempted to break the Guinness World Record for longest marathon on a swing. He started Wednesday morning and swung all the way through the night, taking five minute breaks every hour as he's allowed to eat, to drink, and to go to the bathroom. We were joking like, but I ended up saying, yeah, I'm gonna beat the world swinging record, dude. And I don't know, it just escalated from there. The existing record O'Brien beat was a little over 32 hours of swinging time. He is now waiting to get the record officially verified by Guinness World Records. Pickle lovers, this next one's for you. Pickle producer Vlasic now creating a new kind of chip made with actual pickles. The company announced two new pickle products, Vlasic single serve pickle slices and a vacuum fried pickle chip. Vlasic says pantry and refrigerated pickles are a billion dollar industry that they say continues to grow. So they want a piece of that part, a uh, piece of that pie. Thanks for joining us tonight for our CBS 11 News Update. Latest news, weather and sports anytime, you just log on cbsdfw.com. This has been CBS 11 News Now. Be sure to follow us on CBS DFW Facebook and Twitter for the latest local